Welcome back to my channel. Kathleen Hart here from the Little Piece of Heart cooking blog. Again, we have a recipe video. You guys have been requesting these videos and I'm happy to make them. This recipe, because you clicked on it, you know what it is. This is the best ever roasted butternut squash. The reason why it's the best ever, it's easy and it tastes amazing. So what more could you ask for with the recipe? And if you are following the new George Cruz Cruise Control Diet, butternut squash is actually in the meal plan. So I wanted to show you how I like to prepare butternut squash the easiest, tastiest way possible. So you can incorporate that into the one cup serving that he includes in his meal plan. As always, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up down below and also subscribe if you're not already. This is the Low Piece of Heart channel. I do everything low carb diet related here. And as always, down in the description box, you're gonna find a link to my blog that will take you to all the recipes, all of the low carb goodness. So definitely click down there if you need some inspiration and if you wanna see the recipe that I'm making today, all written out, nice and pretty, so you guys can make it for yourself. So with all that being said, get that out of the way, I wanna show you guys how to make the best ever roasted butternut squash. Let me show you the ingredients that you're gonna need. You might even have them all in your pantry already. So come down and take a look. So I'm going to spray my baking sheet with a little bit of nonstick cooking spray. This is the one that I use. It's an olive oil based cooking spray. It's my current favorite. For spices, I'm gonna use pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm also gonna use some fresh cracked black pepper along with some chili powder and some garlic powder. And yes, I burned myself the other day. Uh, yep. And the star of the show, a nice big butternut squash. And lastly, you're gonna need a little bit of your favorite extra virgin olive oil. So that is everything. Okay, so the first thing we have to do, preheat the oven, 415 degrees. Sounds weird, just go with it. You're also gonna need a large baking sheet, which I have right here behind me. Spray it with the olive oil cooking spray, set that aside, and now we're gonna prep the squash. So what I like to do, just raw like this, we're going to peel it and then we're gonna chop it up. Let's go. Now once you have it cut in half, you'll see that there's these seeds here. I want to scoop those seeds out with a spoon and then we'll get to chopping. Okay, so let's talk really quick about how much chopping that was. <laughs> me personally, I love chopping. It's therapeutic for me. It's my favorite thing to do, probably the prep for making the food. I'm weird. But if you are stressed out about how much chopping that was, you can actually buy butternut squash already chopped. Check your store, I promise it is there. And one more thing, I'm not perfect. These pieces are not all exactly the same size, please. Whatever you do, do not stress yourself out about, 
Do not stress yourself out about how perfect each piece has to be. It doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't matter at all because nobody cares. If you were cooking in a 10 star restaurant, you might get in trouble by the chef if you didn't have each piece exactly the same. But this is your kitchen. Do not stress out about the pieces. Yes, some are gonna be a little more caramelized than others. Some are gonna be a little bit more soft. I'm cool with that. You should be too. Don't stress out. Cooking is fun. So, now that we have all of our squash all chopped up and ready to go, not perfectly chopped, I'm just gonna put it into a thin layer really quick just so we can do all of the spices. In the recipe that I have written, I'm gonna put the amounts, but what I like to do, depending on how big my squash is, how much I have, the spices are gonna be tweaked a little bit. So I just like to cover everything with a nice thin layer of spices and take it from there. If you need to follow an exact recipe, it will be in the description box down below. Here we go again. And like I said, cooking is fun. Not everything has to be exact. So follow me down below and I'll show you exactly how we're gonna throw it all together. All right, so this is my pan. My squash is all in a thin layer. I'm gonna take some extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to drizzle it on top. This is gonna be about one and a half, probably tablespoons for this amount of butternut squash. I just like to drizzle it on like that. Next, we are going to go in with the pink Himalayan sea salt or whatever salt you prefer. This is just the one that I'm using now. And I like to do a couple grinds right on top. You want each piece to be covered with salt. And then same thing with the cracked black pepper. And the salt you can't really see, but the pepper and the chili powder, you'll definitely be able to see how much I'm using. I like to liberally spice everything and season everything because this is where you're giving the butternut squash all of the flavor. So you can see all the little black pepper flecks, a-okay. Then we're gonna go in with the garlic powder. And you know me, garlic is my best friend. I just do a light dusting right on top. My oven's already and preheated, so we're ready to go. Lastly, chili powder. The chili powder is a must do. Is this gonna taste really like a taco? Absolutely not. The chili powder works great with the butternut squash and just gives an amazing, amazing flavor profile for butternut squash, but it does not taste extra smoky. It doesn't taste like a taco. So do not be scared. Do not leave this out. I sprinkle it liberally too. I want each piece to have chili powder on it. Oh, it already smells so good. Garlic powder just wakes me up. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this looks like right now, all seasoned up. This is what you're looking for. And now with clean hands, I'm going to toss. And then I'm gonna arrange it in a flat layer. You want everything to be flat and not overlapping. You don't want it to be piled up. One even layer that will ensure even cooking. And you know what? The fact that they're all not perfect means that I can call this a rustic dish. 415 for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna bring it back here and I'll show you guys what it looks like and then we're gonna toss it and pop it back into the oven for the additional cooking time. My butternut squash was in for 15 minutes. Now we're going to toss as you can see, this is a piece that already flipped. It's just starting to get a little bit caramelized. So now we wanna flip all of this over so that the other side can get caramelized as well. Then we're gonna pop it back into the 415 degree oven for an additional 15 minutes. squash is same dance out of the oven it was in there for a total of 30 minutes I am going to put this in containers for meal prep so when I ate this meal with my chicken and my spinach in the bowl that I posted on my what I eat in a day I actually used one cup of this exact recipe for my meal so that's how much I used in my bowl I just want to show you guys Look at how beautiful and caramelized it gets. Oh my gosh. Isn't it just beautiful? 
It doesn't get any better than that. It's delicious. Wow. The best part is all of those flavors just go together so well. I told you before, you're not going to taste taco, chili powder. You're just going to taste the best butternut squash in the world. I'm going back. It's delicious. It's caramelized. The sweetness from the butternut squash comes out, caramelizes those pieces, and you get the most delicious flavor ever. I'm not joking when I say this is the best butternut squash you will ever make. Click on the link below. You'll find the full recipe written out for you. We'll take you to my blog, which by the way, you should go to anyway if you need some inspiration for some low carb cooking. I'm gonna pack this up for meal prep and I'm gonna go and have an amazing day, which you all should too. Hope you guys liked this one. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. You guys know the drill. I'll see you all in my next video. Spread some positivity. Hope you're having an amazing day. And if you're not, take a deep breath, count to 10, think about all you're grateful for, and I'm sure it will get better. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everybody.